We want to turn back to our coverage of that new fast spreading COVID variant. The World Health Organization calling an emergency meeting today where it named the new variant after the 15th letter in the Greek alphabet, Omicron. Yeah, this is so concerning. You don't want to hear about a new variant, right? Scientists believe that this might actually have a higher risk of reinfection than previous strains. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter has more on what we do and frankly don't know about this new strain. We saw uh, a very high number of travelers here in the United States yesterday, over 2.3 million. And we will see more over the next few days as we wind down this Thanksgiving holiday. That is troublesome with, with the identification of an emergence of a new strain that we know is spread by air. Doctors say what's most worrisome about the latest coronavirus variant is that it could be more transmissible or more resistant to the current vaccine due to its over 30 mutations. It has properties that could make it more evasive to the vaccine, could make it more contagious, could cause more severe disease. Health leaders have been working around the clock to determine just how dangerous the new variant is, but the World Health Organization says lab results are still a few weeks away. Doctors tell me right now is the time to be proactive rather than reactive. I don't think anyone needs to be on edge. I don't think we need to hit the panic button. We know what to do. You know public health measures, wear your mask, wash your hands, practice social distancing, and you need to also get vaccinated. According to the World Health Organization, just under 100 cases of the new variant have been confirmed, largely among young people in South Africa. WHO leaders, though, say that it has been identified in both Europe and Eastern Asia. As of this afternoon, U.S. leaders say they don't believe it has reached the U.S. yet.